It looks like Justin Bieber doesn't always have the best luck in his quest to make one feel lonely girl. It's hard to do that when the girl isn't lonely to start with. Justin Bieber says that he'll get back into music, eventually. Right now, though, it looks like he wants to get into something else. And he proceeded to get savagely rejected in a very public way. Justin Bieber can do some pretty kind things sometimes, like surprising chronically ill children at a children's hospital. It's easy to look at his history of bad behavior and think of him as a troublemaker or something, but it's probably more accurate to say that he's been plagued by personal problems after skyrocketing to fame the way that he did. And he hasn't always been great at finding solutions. Justin Bieber cancelled his tour recently to the disappointment of hundreds of workers who were relying on it for their employment in the near future and, of course, to the chagrin of countless fans who wanted to see him. Bieber apparently cancelled the tour for Jesus reasons after recently falling under the influence of hip, cool pasta who tends to cater to celebrities. Though, to be fair, the Biebs comes from a very Christian background. His mom sometimes posts end times stuff on Instagram, so maybe this guy can't take all of the credit for Justin's new priorities. But apparently none of this newly strengthened religiosity bars Justin from being consumed with lust. Or from acting on said lust. Or trying to, anyway. Though he didn't know her name, Justin was clearly enthralled by this photo of a fitness on Broughton employee named Jesse Gober holding an energy drink. Justin Bieber saw this girl but didn't know her name. Most people would just recognize that that's how life works. You see some hottie on an advertisement or pass a strikingly beautiful pedestrian downtown and that's it, you never know their name, let alone meet them. Bieber, though, has been famous for just about all of his dating years. It's tempting to say that he doesn't know how the world works. But it's more accurate to say that he knows how the world works for him. He's rich and famous and still hot, so he really doesn't play by the same rules as everyone else. So he slid into fitness on Broughton's DMs with a simple question. Who is that girl? Heart emoji? In your latest post. Fitness on Broughton must have weighed their options, and probably conferred with Jesse. At this stage, in Justin Bieber's career, or current lack thereof, even though he says that he'll make music again at some point, his general goodwill isn't necessarily as valuable as it might have been in 2010 or whatever. The publicity from making Bieber's interest known, on the other hand, isn't something that most businesses could or would pass up. So Jesse Gober, the girl who had struck his fancy went ahead and posted a screen cap of that DM from the Biebs. Oh, and pretty savagely rejected him in the process. Did this actually just happen? Or my Justin Bieber just messaged the gym that I work at and asked who I was ha 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 WTF. Jessie Gober works the front desk at Fitness on Broughton. She absolutely looks incredible. She also followed up that tweet by making it very clear that she's very happily taken. She tweeted a set of photos of herself and her boyfriend, writing, I've got everything I need right here. Jesse followed those words with a hearty emoji of her own. First he was banned from China for being impure and now he's getting rejected by pretty girls on social media. Now that we've seen this. We can only imagine how many private exchanges like this Justin's had that never went public. Fitness on Broughton, at least, is loving all of the publicity. Having your employee make the news like this is great for just about any business. And it's very possible that Jessie Gober might line up a modeling career based on this. She wouldn't be the first model discovered by the Baeb's lustful gaze. Though. Considering how publicly she shut him down, she might very well be the last. He'd have to start finding ladies the old-fashioned way. By having his team invite them backstage, of course.